you can get steamed or fried fish on the spot or buy some fresh Asian delicacies. We have a lot of different things like the pork kenny, pork liver, pork ear. Okay, and this is a this is a, like a pork stomach. 99 Ranch Market is one of the latest tenants to open its doors at the new Samania New York Mall in Westbury, formerly known as the Mall at the Source. Some people they drive 50 miles, you know, from their 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 home you know, to shop here. The nearly 46,000 square foot supermarket is said to be the largest national grocery store chain to specialize in a full range of Asian ingredients and foods. It's also the first 99 Ranch Market to open in New York. Joseph Lee, business development director, says plans. To open additional locations over the next few years are already in the works. 99 in Chinese meaning long life. We claim ourselves 99 percent. We try harder for 100 percent. According to Lee, some 2,000 customers, nearly half of whom are Asian, visit the Westbury store daily. That number expected to double in the coming months. We probably had the biggest live seafood you know, marketplace in Long Island. Many people we spoke to say the market helps fill a cultural void on Long Island. There's Chinese vegetables that you can't get at an American supermarket. <laughs> The chain, known for its Pan-Asian produce, baked goods, dim sum, and seafood, prides itself on freshness. The amount of variety of every single vegetable is unbelievable. Fruits, fish, meats, different snacks. It's clean, it's beautiful, everything is laid out very well. Four vendors serving authentic Vietnamese, Chinese, and Japanese food plan to open here at the food court, where people will also have the option to just come and eat. You don't have to go to the Chinese restaurant to get roasted duck. You can just buy it here. It's really cheap, you know, very test, very delicious. Other locations in the Northeast include New Jersey, Boston, Virginia, and Maryland. In Westbury, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.